Flexible cocaine and its distribution. What type of drug is cocaine? Cocaine is a stimulant, and a stimulant is something that raises our blood pressure, heart rate, and our cognitive awareness. List of stimulating drugs. That would be cocaine, methamphetamines, MDMAs, nicotine, heroin, and caffeine. Short-term side effects of cocaine are enlarged pupils, reduced appetite, increased energy, alertness, and inability to sleep, irritability, increased body temperature, rate of breathing, pulse rate, and blood pressure. Short-term side effects of heavy dosages would be cold sweats, fainting, and confusion, uh, sleeplessness, shaking, repetitive movement, arms feeling heavier, arms and legs feeling heavier in the moment, aggressive behavior, strokes, and overdoses. Long-term side effects are loss of appetite, malnutrition, and weight loss, restlessness, reduced resistance to infection, convulsions, tolerance to dependence, meaning you have to have it more and more, and strokes. How is cocaine being distributed and by who? Cocaine is being smuggled through Mexico, Canada, and Asia, and TCOs, and TCOs stand for transnational criminal organizations. In Mexico, the cartels have bought out a lot of the cops uh, there to make it easier for them to smuggle drugs into the United States. Canada has a multi-billion dollar trade for marijuana, cocaine, and MDMA, which is also known as ecstasy. The Asian TCOs have been using the Canadian border to smuggle in marijuana, cocaine, MDMA, and methamphetamines into the United States. What is the schedule for cocaine? Cocaine is a Schedule II controlled substance, <clears throat> which allows medical physicians to prescribe it to people for medical uses. If you do have um, cocaine that is not prescribed, it is still illegal. However, crack cocaine is a Schedule I drug, which means it has, it has been proven to have no use for medical use. What are the penalties for cocaine? Cocaine has many different penalties within the state of California, and it just so happens to be the most common drug offense in California. If you have possession of cocaine that is for personal use, then you will, that will be a misdemeanor and will be punishable by one year in county jail. However, if you have more than uh, per, more than personal use, then the charge will vary from 16 months to two years or three years in jail. The last charge that you can get is possession with the intent to distribute, which is a felony. This is punishable by a sentence of two years, three years, four, or five years in jail. How can we as a community help stop cocaine? I think that if we help fund the police officers get new narcotic testing kits and different supplies that would better help them protect our community from dangerous drugs like cocaine, then this would be a one step closer to preventing more deaths from this drug. We could even just help fund the Gaming Drug Task Force unit because that would be taking down two different causes in one go. We would be helping them get better equipment for them uh, to better equip themselves to take down gangs or cartels, and they would also be taking down drug dealers and different organizations.